And today I'm going to be working on my Tesla Model 3. Uh, every time it's cold, I guess the grease is not, um, you know, um, as soft as it should. When I turn my steering wheel, it's not doing the problem right now. When I turn my steering wheel, it, it creaks like it creaks like it makes a tuck, 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 tuck. You know, when you turn it left or right at full lock. So it's making that noise. And it's, um, yeah, I cannot recreate it right now because it's warm right now. It's uh, late at, in the afternoon. So what I'm going to do is to prevent that from happening, I'm going to go lube the, um, the ball joint that way and 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 uh, anything that's on the upper control arm a lot of people say it's your upper control arm so i'm gonna go ahead and loop that and inject some um, um grease lithium grease let's go all right so you need one of this puck put it under the car jack your car that way you don't damage any battery or anything at all down down here <coughs> where are you oh yeah you're right. There we go. Just put that on, jack up the car, take out the tire. It's also a good time for me to rotate the tire. So I'm gonna rotate those tires since the car is already up. Remove them both and rotate them. Take out the 21 millimeter sockets. All right, so we need a 50 um, uh, socket right here the star bit size and then a 15 millimeter and just go ahead and loosen it up it's uh, not that hard to do all right to uh, take the socket out make sure you press down because this thing has a lot of tension you press down and then release the screw I couldn't do it because you know I need a, someone to video me but anyway you see this little notch right here so press down and then remove the screw. There's gonna be a tension. See how hard it is? You can't just pop it out. So once again, press really hard, you'll feel it. And then this comes loose, just pull it out just like that, okay? All right, everyone, I know it's kind of dark, but as you can see, my work is dirty. I put a bunch of lithium grease in there on both sides. The tip of my lithium grease broke off. And um, on this one, it's, it looks like it's playing, it's not stuck. So I was gonna inject, uh, I just looped the rubber boot. I was gonna inject with my lithium grease, with my um, needle. I have a needle stainless steel right here that can be inje injected to the booth, but I'm not gonna do that today. And there goes my lithium grease. I'm just gonna fill it up, but it seems okay. It's, it's, there's no binding or anything. So I'm happy with that. So make sure you move it around that way the the grease in there is good to go. All right, so let's do the other side. Let's push everything back. I'm gonna loop this as well, clean it up, and put new lithium grease around it as well. And then uh, it's gonna. Be, there's a lot of tension right here. See, look, it's really hard to put it on. So I'm gonna need my two hands to put it back in the socket. I'll be right back. All right, that thing is lubed. The boot is lubed. Everything is lubed. That's also lubed. And put everything back on, guys. And then I'm gonna do the other side. And um, that's just how you maintain your creaky sound on your Tesla Model 3 or any Tesla in that particular. If when you turn your steering wheel, it makes that loud tuck, 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 tuck sound. So hopefully it will go away and uh, let's find out one of these days if it'll come back. Uh, I mean, it shouldn't come back. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, more Tesla projects to come. Please subscribe. Uh, help me out on my channel. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care, everyone. God bless. Bye.